Hello everyone, today I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the list of all the variables available in catalog items. For this example I have created a catalog item. Let us start creating the variables from the variables related list. Let us begin with the break variable which displays a horizontal line across the form. The label variable displays a label across the form. Labels are formatting elements. No data is collected. The checkbox variable lets you enable and disable options by selecting and clearing them. When you create consecutive checkbox variables it becomes a group, if any checkbox variable in the group is mandatory, the entire group becomes mandatory. Attachment variable, which lets you upload an attachment. After you upload the attachment, you can also download, update, and delete it. Even when fulfilling the request. The date variable creates a widget with a field and calendar to select a date. The date and time variable creates a widget with a calendar and fields to select a date and time. Use the duration variable to specify the duration in the DDHH MMSS format. The email variable creates a widget to enter and select an email address. The HTML variable lets you provide content with advanced formatting, including images. Use the IP address variable to specify the IPv4 and IPv6 data for a catalog item. Lookup select box variable creates a choice list using data queried from a table. The lookup multiple choice variable creates radio buttons using data from a table. Remember, table with large data causes performance issues when loading the page. The list collector variable creates an interface that lets you select and add multiple records from a table. Custom or custom with label variable inserts a UI macro with a label. The masked variable inserts a field that masks the entered text with asterisk. The multiline text variable creates a field that lets you enter multiple lines of text. The multiple choice variable creates radio buttons for question choices.
The select box variable creates a list of predefined question choices. The numeric scale variable creates a set of radio buttons for a range of options. The reference variable references a record in another table. The requested for variable helps you specify who this request can be submitted for. The rich text label variable displays a formatted label. The single line text variable creates a field to enter a single line of text. The URL variable creates a widget for users to enter URLs. The wide single line text variable creates a field that spans the form, letting users enter longer lines of text. Yes or no variable creates a choice list with yes and no as options. The yes or no variable creates a choice list with yes and no as options. Container start, container split, and container end variables define a layout for a container that can hold more variables. If you want more helpful videos like this please let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching.